Hi, welcome back. So, we have, so far, what we have done in this video series is we have brought your object in. We have, uh, we have shown you now how to be able to transform it or move it across the build plate. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to actually align it. So, if you look at my character right now that I have, he, this character is actually off the build plate. So now this, uh, as I alluded to earlier, this uh, this origin, this red dot right here represents a 0, 0, 0 in the XYZ land of math land. It's, uh, it's going to come into play for us. So we're going to go back into this function right here, the edit. So if you're on a select right now, you want to go into edit um, and right where we were before, and instead of pressing this transform button, what we're going to do is we're going to press the align button right now. So we are going to align it, and it's going to show you a preview. So in this hollow area right here, this hologram that you're looking at, that's where your object actually currently is. The Once you hit the, the align function, it's going to show you three different areas. The source, which is your base point, that's where it's going to put it to. Uh, the destination where to align it. So we're going to align it to its Y up axis. That'll put it uh, heads up here. You can align it to other things, a Z up or an X up, depending on what type of object that you have uh, and align it that way. You can also align it uh, into some other planes as well. But if you're interested in those, you can certainly ask the people in the makerspace. They're very helpful with things as far as that goes. Uh, you can translate it and rotate it if you need to, or simply just translate it so you can move it down only, or you can move it down and rotate it if you feel like you need to. Uh, that Those are for uh, special areas. And it will show you a little preview of your object once you've done it. So if we just translate this thing only, it will only show us that translate. But if we translate and rotate, then we'll have the, um, the availability to do that. And you can flip sides with it too uh, right on the screen. So if you press this purple arrow here, uh, it will flip your, your object uh, either up or down, depending on what you need to. Uh, you can also show and play around with it if you need to. So if I want to do it on the it's Y, on its Z up, there you go. Now it's um, it's been rotated on its Z up. And this is all preview stuff before you hit accept, because once you hit accept, then you have to go back and uh, if you messed up, you have to hit the, um, the Alt, Shift, and Left key, hot key there. That will uh, undo anything, or you can simply go up into the actions area and um, and undo it that way as well. So we want to do it just simply Y up and get it onto its build plate there. So my base point is there, and we're good. Everything is set, so I'm just going to hit accept. And now, as you can see, my hollow uh, where it was before is now gone. I now have my uh, object sitting directly on the build plate. Now, let's say, for example... I had this, uh, I'm going to go back to transform here and have this up a little bit. And let's say it's at an angle here. I'll rotate this a little bit so it looks like that. Okay, when and hit accept. So right now, not only is my object off of my build plate, but it's actually off and rotated. And that's not what I'm looking for. So I can go into a line. And if I align it, if you notice, it aligns it right on that one spot right there. Uh, right on the base corner and that's not necessarily what I want, but that's okay um, I can I can sit here and, and get it onto the build plate and still hit accept But now I'm going to go back to transform and I can rotate this Just on that axis and move it a little bit and get it flat as best I can If it's not exactly where you want it, that's okay. We have another program later on in this series uh, the MakerBot software which we can actually use to tell it which surface we want directly on there. So you can play with this a little bit and try to get it as best you can. I'm going to hit accept here and then I'm going to hit align and hit yes. So that's the best I've got. And then later on in our series, we'll be able to actually uh, work with it. So I hope that was helpful for you. Uh, if you have any questions, remember the discussion on each of these will help us in the makerspace to be able to figure out what uh, and pinpoint what problems you're having and be able to work you through this. So that's all for now. Until next time, we'll see you later.